So first of all, do not try this at home. We just wanted to make sure it was really waterproof. Yes, they did send this for review, but no additional funds were exchanged. We definitely kept it unbiased, as always, because we definitely tried to ruin the damn thing. So this is the Blue Yeti, their AC240, and that's 2400 watts. We've got all the cool plugs, 120 volt. This is also 120 volt, but I think it's, uh, let me get out the shadow, it could be 30 amps. But uh, that's not what we're here for. Supposedly, this will run even with water poured in it. I've sprayed it with the water hose. I've even just left it out in the rain. And uh, yeah, you can see I just had it sitting out while we were weed eating. And now we need to clean it off. Supposedly, you can put flour and powder and everything in it. So that's what OG is going to do. We see if we're going to try to break it. So um, flip it over, OG. And we're going to keep... The bulb going. No, flip it this way. Oh, that way. There's two fans in the side. So uh, go get the flour, buddy. Go ahead and pour the flour in the fans, OG. Just, man, just go. Okay. Just get get after it. There you go. Work it in there. Because then we're going to wash it out. <laughs> and see if it works. Don't try this at home. So... You make you a cake? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a cake. Okay. And then you gotta clean it all out, dude. I don't wanna have to. Yeah. What well, you just smashed the bag. That's fine. Where is it? Oh. You smashed the bag. Oh get it out. Hurry, you're gonna ruin it. Yes. Look right here. Look right here. There's there's a vent on this side. You just antique it, right? You know what antiquing is? What? That's when your friend's sleeping. And you just go and you, you, when they're spending the night, you go and you throw flour on their face. <laughs> like old, old Bam Majera stuff. Look, still got the bulb going. Um, Does make a cake. Even the dogs are helping out, right? <laughs> if it dies, it dies. We'll make a good video, right? Mm hmm Okay. Time to make, make some pancakes. All right. There you go. Flip it like that. Now you got to clean it off, dude. All right, bowl still going. I think they do say not to use it while this is happening. Watch out, Owen. Owen, hey, don't put your hands on that while it's going. It could shock you. I, don't, I think it says not to do this, but uh, why not? It's not like you would be off hiking in the camping and then you could just hurry up and, you know, take it out of the rain. We're going to do real world and let it go while it's uh, fully raining on it. Got more. Okay. I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's still <laughs> kicking. <laughs> you haven't killed it yet, dude. It has not died yet. I'm about to give up. Gotta clean it out. Just cleaning off his battery. Doing his chores. Look, the light bulb's still going too. That's pretty damn impressive. How has this not died? There's no way we can break it. <laughs> it's still going. I give up. You give up? Yep. Blue Yeti one. Blue Yeti one, and um, it's still going. We'll clean the rest of the flour out of it, and uh, we'll see what else. And the side has. The battery expansion port. We didn't get any additional batteries with that. This is all from our flower test and running water through it. So, but everything's still running great with it. Um, you've got a 12 volt DC uh, plug for just doing like cigarette lighter style stuff and turn the DC on. You gotta press it twice if it's asleep. Um, you've got to, they give you this plug, it's for, they say for some RVs. And it's 12 volt DC, 30 amp out. Of course, USB-C, USB-A, 
and I guess we'll bring our battery out here, see if we can charge our battery on USB-C 100 watts. So this is 2400 watts on this guy. There is AC, it says it's pure sine wave down here. And the part I wanna check out is the 30 amp. We've still got stuff everywhere from when we doused it, but they got two 20 amp. Yes, it is wet, but we'll still run it and give it a test and see what happens. So that's where we're at here. Now you've got this display here. It does have Wi-Fi. You can put it in the cloud, which is cool because you can do cloud-based and you can do Bluetooth. So you can kind of get the best of both worlds if, say, if you have a hot spot while you're camping or whatever. And you can plug it in for charging on the side, which is where we come to over here. <clears throat> so there is a bleed valve here. They do have a ground, which interesting i haven't seen them do that before you've got your dc input and everything this is their little cable they give you it does lock in and i have done some solar charging on this and but i'll get to that we'll see how that works a little more ac input of course their wire again but it does have the regular us one on there we still have tons of remnants of stuff there are two fans in here i'm curious to see if the fans still work after being water poured out of it and flour and everything else which that's the whole thing of this you can leave this outside and not have to worry about the elements getting to it and ruining your camping trip so with that i do have our little makeshift teardrop camper that we did a little homemade deal and um i'm gonna pop off my attachment because i have a regular 30 amp 120 volt plug and let's see what happens to this guy and got a little window unit i had issues with the anchor or anchor whatever it is that was throwing the lights all crazy we'll see what this does if it can handle the air conditioner running on this so we've got our voltage here, got 120 volts AC, and then we've got 12 volts DC for our electrical stuff. We do have some DC stuff in here. So, uh, but let's see what happens with the battery. So one good thing I noticed is doing the voltage check. We got 120 volts and we are showing the correct voltage phase and everything. So we'll turn it on on, we'll leave it on 70. And the last time what happened, as soon as the compressor kicked on, the lights went absolutely nuts. So we'll give it a second for the compressor to kick on. So just with the fan running and the light, we've got a hundred watts and the compressor just kicked on, I heard it. And no issue so far. I remember the Anker one was going nuts. It was jumping up to like 800, which is not normal for this AC unit. And everything looks damn normal. This is awesome. And should be getting some cool air coming in shortly. So this, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the oscilloscope and see how this thing looks at the... Man, it's so much better when things actually work. Actually looking at the oscilloscope here, we actually get the normal electrical one i'll show you one on shore power as well so we do have 120 volts 60 hertz and i want to see if this stays the compressor is not on right now but i want to see if this same little wave stays and looks good all through with the compressor running because the anchor one i did tested what last year just definitely shit the bed whenever the compressor kicked on all right compressor just kicked on we got 427 450 watts and looks good they actually did a decent job glad to see blue yeti pass the test on this one so definitely cool there so the cables they give you yeah they're all like these little dongle looking types this is the one for solar charging you know with the little waterproof plug-ins here with positive and negative of course that just like a click in style it works pretty well on the side we just click it in this plug on the front right here it's this 30 amp 12 volt out and then goes to an xt60 the us 120 volt 20 amp cable it's pretty thick 
and kind of the same click in deal that goes on another port yeah so no problem doing basically kind of pass through we got 1400 coming in and then almost 1400 going out so we're not really charging anything that's why the i guess the 22 hours and um but i guess that would be for if you wanted to do a ups style thing it would be just fine and damn i get my cables mixed up it's my yellow cable that is my 100 watt cable not these this is a little magnetic one it must be uh limited to 60 watts so yeah no issues got coming out with 97 watts and the shar geek is saying 92 ish watts which is fine and charging up doing no problem on the usb-c output let's see if we can overload this puppy we got 1400 watts going out and we'll throw the saw on it at the same time yep overloaded we're gonna do a little different og is going to turn the it feels good to be a gangster. Saw on, and that way I can plug this in at the same time and still record. So go ahead and fire the saw up, and let's get the uh, see if we'll get the sustained wattage. Go ahead and fire the saw. So no problems getting sustained 2400 watt output. It just doesn't like the peak. I guess the saw is driving it up over the 2800 or 32. I think it is for the peak but it does do 2400 watts just like it says and we'll do the thing out of 120 volt ac of course i'll leave the link down below you can pick yours up you want to dig into it a little more so that leads you to should you buy one now given the size of this they're not cheap it's not going to be like your 200 300 little batteries I mean, even I saw the early bird pricing deal on their website was like $1,400 for this box, which is a pretty decent investment for things. I kind of wanted to see future battery packs like this to be able where you could unslot the batteries and everything because the battery dies in this thing, you're probably not going to end it with a good product. I and mean, it's just going to be a big boat anchor, right? <laughs> At least it would still be waterproof, right? But yeah. I guess that's the whole thing because this is waterproof, so they couldn't do that. But that was one of the things that I chose to check this one out. I saw their stuff at CES and everything, and it definitely caught my eye being a waterproof box. And even with the damn fans on the side, that it still continued to work. So that's the pretty awesome part about this. Whenever I'm doing something for camping and Plug it in the camper. I like to bring an extra battery pack because sometimes the battery, you know, just becomes your saving grace at a campsite because sometimes power sucks. I, I see it all the time with little campers and stuff like that. They'll have little portable generators just in case, you know, that power goes out because some of the remote locations and some of the powered campgrounds. And I guess if you're doing off the grid, this would definitely be good for that as well because you could just put it out somewhere where you don't have any shade, not have to worry about it raining, put your solar panels out there, let it charge up, do its thing, go have fun during the day, whether it rains, whatever, and it's still gonna be fine. That's pretty damn awesome in these battery packs. You don't have to baby the damn thing. So that'll pretty much do it for this one. I do appreciate, again, Blue Yeti for seeing this for review. Again, no additional funds. This is not I will say it, not a paid review by Blue Yeti. We don't do that type of thing. We just like to keep it unbiased and real. So, you know the drill. Press all them buttons, and y'all take care. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster.